Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Today is June 15th, and I'm starting my second week back at work. So we have a lot of people who have birthdays this month. And since I like to bake, I made some desserts for my coworkers' birthdays. Here's how it looks. Here's what it looks like. They are tooth shaped again, and I made it with my cookie cutters. So I'm gonna give it to her when I get into work. Happy Tuesday. I just got off of work and it was pretty busy this morning. One of our hygienists was out sick. We were just helping each other out to see how we can manage the schedule. We were pretty busy. I had six patients that I saw back to back so I didn't have much of a break today. I just bought a mini sewing machine because we have to wear scrub caps now so I'm planning to make my own scrub caps and I'll show you guys once the fabric comes in. My pins also came today. I just finished packaging these up. So this is a little project that I've been working on. I made some graduation pins for Seattle Central's graduating class of 2020. And here's how they look. And I just designed this on Illustrator. I just made some backing cards. And this is how they look after I packaged them up. Let me know in the comments below how you think they look. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Today is June 17th. I just got off of work. Today we had an OSHA and WISHA training. We had training on what we should be expecting when someone from the health department comes to check our office and do a random inspection or if we get complaints in the office. So we had that training during our lunch time. Thank you to Homegrown for catering our lunch for today. Do any of you guys feel like you're shouting when you're wearing your mask? Because I feel like I'm shouting the entire time that I'm talking to my patients and I just can't take it off to talk to them. It's been hard doing my OHI with my mask on because I just feel like they can't hear me and I'm just shouting the whole time. <laughs> My schedule for tomorrow fell apart. A lot of patients canceled and rescheduled. So I technically have tomorrow off, but I'm going to be temping and I haven't done that for over a year. We will see how that goes. I'm just going to call the office before they close for the day and confirm my schedule for tomorrow. Hi, I'm just calling to confirm for tomorrow. I'm going to be Can I need to Yes, okay. And then what about working? Okay, great, thanks. Yeah, we're going to be needing uh, the Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, so I think I'm saying that should be seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Great. See you tomorrow. I just called to confirm with the office. They asked me to come in at 7 o'clock and my first patient is at 7.30. They are going to have a morning meeting hello at 7.15 and the receptionist just went over everything that they had so all of the PPE and how they screen for patients and do a temperature check before the patients arrive. I'll update you guys tomorrow. I just got home. During the training at work today, we were told that our license had to be updated. So look what came in the mail. It came in just in time. Here it is. I had just renewed online. I'm bringing this in on Friday to get it updated. So our license expires every year on our birthday and my birthday is on Saturday. And so good thing that it came today. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Today is June 18th. 
I'm at my mom's house right now and I just got off of work. Today is my brother's 22nd birthday. So we put up some balloons for his birthday. I just wanted to update you guys on how my day was today. I temped at another dental office that was about eight minutes away from my house. Things were pretty much the same as my main office that I work at. I came in the office at seven in the morning. The receptionist showed me my room that I would be working in for the day. And then I just got my room set up. We had a morning meeting at 7.15 and the dentist went over all the patients for the day and what to expect. I noticed that one of my patients needed nitrous and I haven't done that since I've been in school. So one of the assistants helped me out with that. I had a really difficult patient and that was the one that needed nitrous. She told me that she was a very difficult patient so there was no surprises at the beginning of the appointment. She wanted to make sure that she had nitrous and topical gel placed all around her gums so she wouldn't feel any sensitivity during the cleaning. After she had given me all of her requests, the appointment just went very smooth because she ended up falling asleep. Here's how my PPE looked for today. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Bye!